Well, Randy, it looks like your project is getting all done up north, uh, so you might want to go take a bird's eye view and go check out what it looks like from above. Who knows what you'll see? It should be a good time, but come on down to Elk Mountain Airbus Services. This is episode 148 of Elk Mountain. What's going on, everybody? Dirty Randy here. Well, and uh, we're looking good. We're in another month, and it's springtime. Looking good. Uh, cleaned up the yard a little bit. Uh, just, you know, cleaned up the trucks with the pressure washer and organized everything a little bit. We got our trailer or fifth wheel brought back. And, uh, oh, door in the face. We got our garage a little bit more organized for springtime here with, uh, you know, some of the classics taking them out. You know what I mean? Look at this guy. Oh, she feels good. Oh, my gosh. She's got some torque. I forgot about it. All right. Well, you know what? We're off on a special journey this morning. It's uh, it's gorgeous out. It's a little bit past five. And, uh, well, we are going to do something special. It's been a little bit. Oh, my gosh. We made a ton of money last month. Like, record-breaking. Almost $2 million income last month from all of our goods. Which is just fantastic. Uh, you know what? We're going to take the back way here. RQ. Try not to fly into the river we can help it and uh, we're just gonna get our weeder started up that way it can uh, get rolling and it's not actually even the weeder anymore cuz uh, well the weeds have grown so we got the hoe brought down here and uh, all hooked up on the chip tune 9630 I believe it is with the narrow tires looking good and uh, yeah as you can see we got no weeds here a lot of weeds here and then a completely missed patch with no crop right here. So, all around, we got a great field. All right, we got some help. They should be pretty good to just like set off and let her rip. So, we'll see and check in on their progress at some point today for sure. And we're already back here. We don't even have to turn around. We can just pop over the bridge here and right up the hill. Uh, I'm trying to think, where do we even have to go? You know what I mean? Uh, I think our safest bet is up this direction. Otherwise, we gotta go through that windy river road that's uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit hectic, especially when you're not quite in an off-road vehicle. But I mean, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. This Mustang is made for running. Figured I'd come check out this little church on the hill. You know, it's right by our property, and we've not really been up here. Just Look at that. That's a nice little view right there. Whoa. What do you know? We got an antler over here. Nice. Well, I don't even know how many more of those are around, but uh, nonetheless, we're, we're getting them done. So this is the road that leads back to the main road there, a little loop. We want to be on the outside road. That's why we took this one, because we're going somewhere special. Today. I heard that uh, there was somebody in town that, uh, oh, this is no, not the right road. This is the river road that we opted not to take. So we're going to go the other way. I'm still getting used to these back roads. We don't really come around here too much, you know what I mean? We've been here once or twice. But uh, yeah, a little birdie in town told me that uh, there's a guy out here who does some tours. And, uh, well, I would be excited to have a tour. We just got to get there in one piece. Oh, my gosh. Part of me was thinking that this vehicle was not the one we should have taken. But, you know, I need to just, I don't know, stiffen up the suspension, maybe. Maybe it's just a little too bouncy right now. We're just flying over all these holes. It tries to eat them up, but then it just launches us. It's way too soft. All right. That's why I know from experience this bridge, we will definitely kill ourselves if we just send it over. Look at that, that bounce before, that's what's going to get you. If we did not slow down, we would have been toast. Alright, whoa, whoa, whoa! That's what I'm saying, it's so bouncy in a rear end, it just gets you flying. Alright, I believe... It is this sign right here that we got to turn down. I know it says no trespassing, but we're not. 
we're, we're here for a reason. So, whoa, there we go. Wow. Wow. That's pretty cool. I guess they're helicopter tours. Well, that's pretty darn cool. I maybe shouldn't do donuts in his yard, but I'm just so excited. Alright, sorry. My bad. My bad guy. Where, where do I park? Where can I... Where should I do that? Let's do it right here. That way we're not in the way. I mean, I feel like we're still in the way right there. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm panicking. I've never been here before. What if we just go right here? Right... Right there. I don't think we'll be too in the way there. Okay. Hello? Is anybody... Is anybody around? I was... It's probably still waking up. It's pretty early, but I was told, hey, he's open early. I'm digging this guy's ride. Look at that. Oldsmobile. He's got a 442 in there. Wow. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyways, talk to the guy. 500 bucks for uh, an hour, so we'll see how long we're up in the sky. But uh, thankfully, I don't need to pay for extra uh, tour guidance. I mean, like, I can, I can get the guidance, but I don't need the pilot because I actually know how to fly one myself. I used to be a little bit of a recreational pilot myself. So... He said, you know, well, if you got your license, you can show it to me. You can just take her up, but you still got to pay for it. So, I'm doing just that, and I'm stoked. I want to go check out our logging area and just get a big overhead of uh, the whole ranch, you know. It's been a little bit. So, hey, we got liftoff. Wow. All right. Wow. Air bussing. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. You know what, we've never even really flown over this mountain, or not, well, I guess we've never flown over anything here. But we've never really been on this mountain, I don't think. We've only really been on our side of it, which is pretty wild. Uh, wow. I mean, as long as we don't crash this guy, we should be good, but, I mean, look at that. Doesn't look like there's really a whole lot over here, but, I mean... It is what it is. Looking good. Wow, this is a nice big valley over here. Well, it's pretty intense. Couldn't imagine farming out here, really. Like, I mean, it would be kind of nice. It'd be really private, to be honest. But it would require a whole lot of plowing to uh, to get stuff done. But I mean, hey, part of the game. You know what I mean? It's just a lovely morning out here. It would have been nice. We could have gotten out here when it was, uh, like, early sunset. You know what I'm saying? Like, with those just real vibrant early morning colors. But still, it's such a nice, calm day out here right now. It's hard to complain. You know what I mean? Do we follow the riverbank? Is that insane? I mean... I feel like it's a little bit unnecessary right now. You know what I'm saying? Let's go check out our farm. You can see it even from over here. The animal auction just to the left there. Looking good. What we got over here? Look at this beautiful farm. You know what? This will look so much different before all the trees were, uh, were put in. You know what I mean? But now... She looks lovely. Look at the size of this field also. Like, that is amazing. Wow. Wow, you love to see it. You do. Over here too. I don't want to get too low, but you know. Look at this. Do a little overhead of the campground. This place looks nice, I'm not gonna lie. Wow. That probably freaked out a little bit, but don't worry, it's just your overlord, Randy. Yeah, that's right, I run this town. Literally looking down on you from above, but not, not, I'm not literally looking, I mean, I am literally looking down on you, but not in, not in the sense of what that saying means, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, hopefully. Alright, we're just coming up now to, uh, the ranch here. 
and it, she's looking good. Yes, she is. I like that there's no trees on that one side now as well. It looks, I don't know, nice and open. Hey, how we doing for getting rid of the weeds? You think they're all gone? That's looking gorgeous, you know what I'm saying? All right, not, not get too low here. She's doing a little fly over the ranch here, and she's looking good also. Boy, has she come a long way, that is for sure. You'll love to see it. So let's uh, let's make our way over to what we came for. You know what I mean? Whoa, there we go. That's looking intense. We did pay for uh, three more if you were following along in the series. Uh, that was what all of our money we made went to for the most part. And you can see this place is coming alive. You know, uh, we still have this whole area over here that is now, well, sprayed with grass. It will start growing pretty soon. But, uh, yeah, no, it's looking good. Wow, we couldn't have done this uh, just a few months ago, flying through here. We would have been in the forest, but now we're looking good. And uh, we got all this equipment down here that part of me thinks... Maybe you should just sell. You know what I mean? I uh, don't want to get too close to our blades here, but you know what? Looks like we got another spot that's being made just over here. So let's uh, have a little land ski, bud. Oh, we can do this. Slow with the approach. Oh, look at that touchdown. Oh. Wow. I like this. I almost want one for myself. I don't know if we can afford it, but that'd be cool. Makes uh, getting from A to B pretty easy when we're just doing stuff like this. Wow. Now that we're on the ground, these things are absolutely massive. This is a wind farm and a half. But uh, there's still lots more to go. But we're pretty much out of money. We got like 60 grand in the account right now uh you know that was uh we spent a lot of money getting these guys up and running you know what i mean like so yeah is what it is but they do bring in a lot of money as well so not too worried about that and uh, we got lots as far as uh you know money and products go so i'm not not too worried about it we do actually have another truck loaded up and ready to go with product i do believe so there's a good chance we're going to be making a little bit more bag today anyways for now I think we should maybe take our butts back to the uh, helicopter place because uh, yeah I'm not really sure what else we can go check out around here it's the fire watch tower there pretty tall You'd love to see it Jeez, it's like we're just driving into the abyss kind of a foggy morning not super clear visibility, but it's not terrible either, you know what I mean? This nice little valley here. We found some gold in that valley one time. Coming up to the big old grain mills over here. We can't compete with these guys, but we do pretty well ourselves, alright? Looking good. Nice little drive-by. Jeez, these silos are massive, hey? That's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy, man. Alright. Cut our way through all of this land here. Tempted to buy some of it just to have some more grass field, but I think I think we're okay, to be honest with you. We got so much hay and silage ready to go to make feed, so I'm not really too worried about that. But we're making our way down now, and it's looking real nice. I was just flying over, and I decided to check out this big rock over here, and it looks like there is a little dirt patch and something on the ground. I can't quite make out what it is from up here, but, I mean, there has been some legends of some gold mining and things gone south around these parts and we've definitely found 
some of those uh, rewards before, so, you know, perhaps that is the missing link. I have no idea, but there was supposedly three missing boxes of gold coins, and we have found two of them, which is pretty wild. So, hey, maybe that's another million dollar day right there just from finding that. Oh gosh, we don't want to hit these other ones. Oh no. I think we can do this. I'm just... I don't want to hit the other ones, and I don't know how to get back into position completely. Oh, but that's looking good. Oh! Are we going to stick the landing? Boom. 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 Wow. I think we nailed that. That was pretty good. No major failures, and uh, we got some amazing sights that we saw up in there. I dig it. That was nice. And we didn't hit the other ones coming in for a landing, so there you go. Let's go, uh, let's go pay the man and get to it. All right, well, we didn't quite use three hours, but I gave him 1,500. You know what? I'm not too worried about it. I enjoyed that, and, uh, well, that was a good time. You know what I mean? We haven't been flying for, uh, for a long time, but that was fun. All right, this is a weird little dip. That needs to get fixed, you know what I'm saying? And uh, now that we're back on the ground, I have no idea where to go. I know it was by the rocks. Whoa, whoa! These divots. Well, the car's telling me this way. I'm trying to dodge the bushes. And also just send it. But we sent it too hard, too fast. Now we're pointed this way. Let's go this direction. I don't see any rocks. Well. Kind of looks like rocks over here. I don't know. Hard to tell. Well, I mean, that's just more cliffside. Not quite what we're after. Maybe it is. I don't know. Is it? No. I don't think so. I mean, it all looks kind of similar. Once you're on the ground, it's tough. I think we're in the right area or so. There's more rocks up in here. Oh, and a lot of bushes. Okay, well... This is not the car for this, but you know what? We're having fun. Whoa. We almost drove right past it, but look, I think this is what we were looking at. I think this is what we were looking at. Oh my god. I think this is the last one. This is three of three. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know right where to take this to. Yeah. I'm going to be so stoked. I'm stoked. This is a win-win for everybody. Oh. All right. Oh, I'm the richest person in town. I mean, I don't know about the richest person in town. I mean, honestly, probably even before we grab that uh, and go collect some money on it, we probably were up there for the richest person in town. You know what I'm saying? But I know exactly what to do with this box. We know where to go with it. There's a gold buyer auction guy in town. He knows what's up, and uh, he will be able to cash this out for us and uh, well let's see what we get I, you know I think sometimes we've gotten close to a million dollars I can't really remember maybe it's 500k I think it was maybe just 500k I think we've gotten a million dollars total from the two of them but yeah no I'm looking forward to it so oh boy we're gonna send it through here like we're running from the po po drive it like you stole it until we get back to the main roads at least that's kind of, that, that is why I wanted to take this car, honestly. It's fun when you're uh, actually staying on the road. There we go. All right, we've made it back to town. And we're oh so close. You can smell the money. Uh, all right, you know what? Uh, well, I don't want to wait for the line, so we're going to go this way. And then we're going to dip back this way. And then we're going to dip in right here, my friends. You know why? They buy gold. Look at that. Look at that. That might be one of our old boxes. Fake coins, but old boxes. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry for that noise you just had to hear. But you had to hear it because we just collected an amazing reward. More than any of them we have before. 
Uh, just... Oh, I thought I was gonna hit the truck. Let's move to a little bit more open area. Anyways. Uh, yeah, well... <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. There, There is an old reward wanted for all three of those boxes. And sure enough, we've collected all three of them. So not only did we get $500,000 for just the box. Boop, those are tires. That's all right. We got a $10 million bonus on top of it. $10 million. $10 million. $10 with six zeros behind it. Like, what? What? That is insane. That That's unheard of. I guess we really are the richest man in town. Wow. And you know what? The timing couldn't be better because we, we finished clearing out that hill and we could use some more wind turbines just for the heck of it. I know that seems silly to spend all the money, but we could buy at least 10 of them. Check out what's on sale. What are the odds? We literally just bought one of these guys. Brand new. But uh, now one pops up on sale. And look at that, $10.5 million in the bank account. That doesn't even feel real right now. Like, I've got I've got little tinglys. I've got shivers. I don't... What do you even do with that? That's nuts. I need to sip my coffee and, and do a little online shopping. But there's nothing I want here from online shopping. Bruh, you can see my face in the rear view. How cool is that? Alright, well, we made it back to the ranch a lot richer than we left. And, uh, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Uh, I'm tempted to just pull in, but I always back in. I don't know, it's, you just, you got to. Do, do that now while you got the time, and then, who knows, when you're trying to leave, you just need to hop in and send it, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, don't hit the Jeep. All right, we're good. That's looking good. I think we nailed that park job, honestly. I made a critical error. I want to take this truck, but I, I can't. It's not the truck I need to take right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wanted to, but I can't. Oh yeah, this is what we're doing. We, uh, yeah, we need a whole lot of torque, and this is the the boy to do it. So that is, uh, yeah, that's that's the way we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead over and take a little bit more cotton, and by a little bit, I mean like eight tons. So a lot, a lot of cotton, and uh, we're finally pretty much completely out over at the spinnery. It's taken a couple years to go through all of it, so this should be another welcome addition over there. And then, uh, you know what, the work still doesn't stop. Uh, we, we're gonna order some more uh, windmills for sure, but I think we are still gonna spread some manure today and hopefully get our last field planted with something. I don't know what, but something. So that is the game plan. After we can get these big boys dropped off, Finally got them hauled out of there, loaded up onto the trailer there. Not an easy job, but uh, yeah, they're on the goose snag, so we needed the big boy for this one. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that torque and power. I don't even care. Could our other truck have done that? Doubt. All right, well, we have arrived with these big boys, so let's, uh, I don't know, I guess we pull up here and they can help us load stuff up. I don't know. Unload it. And like that they are gone and uh, off to be spun. So there you go. That's another job checked off the list. And it feels good. Um, hmm. We're going to need a bigger trailer than this to bring back our stuff from the forestry area up there. But, uh, that's okay. We have bigger trucks for that, too. I think we will, uh, hop into our tractors now, though. And start getting some field work done. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not gonna do its shelf. Oh, yeah. Nailed it. 
getting her back into its parking spot. Like a glove. Oh, hold on. Like a glove. Yeah. Round two. Alright, I don't think there's anything else we need to tow around with uh, our pickup, so we're probably good to just ride this daddy back on down over here. Alright, and as far as manure goes, probably want to hop in this tractor in here and, uh, well, get her going. We know that it's not too bad of a job, and we got some refills over on the other part of the field there. Uh, unfortunately, there's crop in there, so it might take a little working around, or, I don't know, maybe we can get away with just sending it right through the field, because the crop's not growing up too much, so we'll see what we can do there. But we will uh, refill what we can from the yard here, and that's majority of uh, what we actually have available, so that's good. Using everything we can to get her done, that's what you want to be doing, you know. Yeah, we really hadn't started using manure until this year, but since we have, it's been a good time. I've uh, I've enjoyed it. I've been happy with it. And, well, we got a couple big pits of it, so it's nice to make some use, you know? All right, we'll get loaded up, and then we'll get going. All right, that wasn't so bad. Uh, we had just enough to get her done. We still have a little bit extra here, actually, but we pretty much drained all of our manure silos, so that is great. We've used almost all of our slurry as well and taken care of all of our fields down here. Uh, the only field that doesn't have even a first application on it is the one up at the other farm there. Uh, so not sure what we're going to do about that. Um, we might have to just spray it twice or something. I don't know. Uh, but everything else is taken care of now with at least a first application, so that's awesome. Alright, that guy is back in its home. Looking good. And uh, we're getting started on planting our circle field as well, so that is pretty good as well. I'll take that for sure. Uh, things are, yeah, they're coming along real nice. Um, let's park this guy in his kind of normal spot. Just, oh gosh. Just over here. Wonderful. Alright, we're just going to pop into the shop here. And, uh, so, well, see if we can't make a purchase. You know, we, we got the money to do so. What do you got for me, shoppy? Alright, we already looked at you earlier. Uh, what are we looking at now? I don't know. Crop protection, methinks. Alright, this big boy. Yeah. Yeah, I want that. I want that indeed. Uh, quarter mil. Not worried about it. Firestone. Wait, can you do duels? Oh, just wides. Oh, rear duels. All duels. That's kind of sauce. Why not? Why not? Let's do it. 288,000. Not too worried about it. But that's not even the tank. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, we need... Where I wonder where it is. Uh, there it is. 
Yeah, Big Daddy. And we're going quick, because we got lots of fields to get done, okay, folks? Uh, 168,000, so another 170, and we're, uh... We're down to like $10 million now. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do, my friends? That's not enough. Um, but we're going to go run into town, drop off some goodies, because uh, one of our trucks here is all loaded up and ready to rock. And then, uh, well, we'll see what we can do about bringing that guy back into town. I don't think he's going to be fitting on uh, any of our low loaders, but I'm not too worried about that. Not too worried. We can drive it through town. It is what it is. Right, well, there's a bunch more goodies in here. Uh, and, you know, that's that's how much flour and sugar we're making on a regular basis there without really letting it accumulate too much. So that's pretty crazy. Um, drop it off a good amount here of furniture as well because we got tons and tons and tons of wood, like literal tons of it. So that is not a worry as well. And those furniture guys, they put in good work. All right, we're gonna roll off just to the truck yard here real quick. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, car. Oh, and now we're in a weird situation. Okay, well, I'm just gonna creep through there, sorry. And we're good, don't worry about me. I got my hazard lights on. I did the whole time, so it's your fault. I swear I just washed this thing too. So dirty. Oh, doggy. Well, look at this beast. Um, I believe we have used them before, not with the duels on here, but, uh, I mean, it really, it doesn't make it that much wider when it's folded up, to be honest with you, because the tires come out to about the same distance as the sprayer nozzles here. Whoa! Alright, well, we were kind of straddling the road there, uh, and the curb on either side, and it kind of just gave us a little shunt, but, uh, we're good. We're good, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I think if we just do this, it's probably more appropriate that way if a car does come up, they're not like, do I just have to drive underneath this guy, or what's the deal? Alright, we don't want to take out this guy's mailbox, so we're going to switch sides, just like that. And there's 100% no chance we're making it through that gap right there. So we're just going to send it, not even <clears throat> think about stopping through that sign, because, uh, you know what, we can pay the fine, it's, I'm not too worried about it. So, uh, you know, it's, it's more of just a suggestion for us at this point, especially when we're driving big machines, because, you know, it's not like we're going to get damaged or hurt. So, you know, well, gosh, that's such a horrible attitude. Well, I guess now it's just a matter of crossing bridges, which I think we should be able to do. We should be able to just fit. If we can't... My entire plan is ruined, but we're good. Look at that. Not even a worry. All right, and hey, look at this shed. The same guys that put up our other one, they put up this one for us, and this is going to be the home for this guy because it's full of herbicide and uh, fertilizer as well. So look at that. Plenty of space in here. Saucy 10,000 liters of liquid fertilizer later. We're ready to rack. So this should be pretty good. Uh, we should be able to bang out all of our fields in record time. So that should be uh, that should be pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we got pretty much all of them with the first application now. All the fields down here at least. So that's good. And then once they're sprayed up, I mean, I think all the weeds are taken care of too, uh, for the most part, except for obviously the fields that we're planting right now. So that is all fantastic. Um, I don't think, yeah, we'd be able to probably spray the, uh, the field that we're planting today. Because that might be a little bit early for them. But otherwise, we're good. Look at this beast. Just sending it down the middle of the field and Karen and getting it done. So this is, well, it's as far as I can go out. So, there you go. We'll, uh, we'll bang this field out in no time and keep the trend going. And we should be, should be able to get them all done by sundown. You know what I'm saying?
All right, well, hey, like I said, record time. We didn't have to do our big field in the middle here because, of course, it already has two app. Oh, my gosh, two applications with uh, the slurry on there on top of the oilseed radish, which does give us a, uh, a good application of fertilizer there. And it looks like our friend is on his last pass. Or, oh, my gosh, around that field. We're breaking this thing the first day we get it. But, uh, yeah, we can't quite do that field yet because there's no crops to spray uh it's just seed in the ground right now so that is what it is uh however we could probably get the uh hoe over there if with the uh the other tractor and get that ready to get the weeds taken out of there and then uh, we'll bring this guy back over and get it sprayed but uh for now i think that's a pretty bang up job you know um we made a heck of a lot of money today. Uh, 300000 from our sale there, which uh, covered almost the purchase of this thing. Not quite, um, but a good chunk of it, as well as this shed, which cost us about $70,000, not including uh, materials and uh, fertilizer, stuff like that. So that's another hefty purchase there. But I think it... Uh, squeezes in here just mighty fine we have enough room for our header piece in between and uh, we don't really need to use both sides of this and then we kind of have a similar setup to over there a little bit matching garages at the very least so that's good um, good to go there we probably like I said could just round up our tractors and get them back here and uh, meow, meow, meow. Uh, I don't know maybe take care of our animals but they got taken care of very early this morning um, so they should be okay. Hey, that sun is going down, looking good. And, uh, well, it's coming up to 7 o'clock here, so we've had quite the day uh, <laughs> today. Uh, it's been a long one, but it's been great, better than I ever could have expected. It was nice to fly in the helicopter again, and, uh, heck, we came out of the day with maybe even enough money to afford a helicopter ourselves. How great would that be? That's not a position I ever thought I would be in when I started taking my pilot's license for all that stuff. <laughs> Boom, we got this field all planted up, so that is awesome as well. We can uh, bring this implement back, same with the tractor, because all of our fields are planted up now for the year, so that is fantastic. Um, I believe these couple little patches there had sugar beet on them still so I don't know what the deal is with that but uh, an interesting field nonetheless if you were watching when we were spreading the manure there it was uh, leaving a pretty funky pattern on the field but uh, that kind of worked out bringing the other tractor over there and uh, is ready and set up for when we need to use that and we can bring this guy on back and then probably hop back in the pickup and head on back to the house get some food, feed the dog, and, uh, well, think about what we're going to do next. Uh, like I said, we're probably going to be getting some more windmills now that we have the money for it, and we can really just completely finish up that project. That is awesome. Who knows? Maybe we buy our own helicopter so we can go just check it out ourselves, but uh, that, that would be pretty cool, to be honest with you. But for now, uh, you know, we spent our money on a sprayer already, and I quite enjoyed it. Uh, we do need to get up to our other field there, but that is not a huge rush, although we really should, considering we need to do a couple applications on that field. So, that's parked up. Good as she's going to get. We can swing this guy back around, get him parked up, and get this... Uh, this shed is starting to fill up again. The other day, it started off, it was uh, completely empty. All the tractors were out, in use. Now, it's starting to fill back up because we're getting stuff done right into the office. Oh, yeah. All right, well, in the pickup we are. The sky is on fire, and it's been a fantastic day. I, I don't know what else to say about it, you know. Uh, just another record-breaking month. This one, a little bit purely by luck, but, uh, you know, hey, I will take it. And our garage looking fantastic for the springtime. We forgot to turn off the lights on the 450 again. It's always those bottom ones that get us. We'll, we'll hop in there and do that. We don't want the battery to die. Alright, that's looking good. We can 
close this up. We can close this up. And you, sir. Turn off. There we go. All done. Well, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. That's going to have to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one. We're counting down the series. This is episode 148, I think. And, uh, well, we're rolling on to 150. It's coming up pretty soon. And, uh, well, things have been looking just dandy. All right. So we'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.